Hey everybody, Collector Cousin here, and welcome to my Pokemon Sun and Moon booster box opening. So for those of you who don't know, these booster boxes are actually mappable, which means that you can figure out which packs contain the white style code card that have at least a hollow rare or even an ultra rare like a GX, full art, or even a secret rare inside of that pack. This also means that you don't actually have to weigh the packs to figure out which ones contain the best cards inside of them. And for that matter, weighing these boxes has become almost impossible since they started putting in the green and white style code cards inside of them. But I'm still going to weigh the packs before I open them up for those of you interested in the weights. Now, because these packs are mappable, I wouldn't recommend buying loose sun and moon packs anywhere because people can actually rip you off by figuring out the mapping pattern, pulling out all the packs with the white style code cards that have the best cards inside of them, and selling you the rest of the packs, you know, the packs with the green style code card, which have only a non hollow rare inside of them. So, you know, stay away from loose packs on eBay and anywhere for that matter. So let's start with opening up this box. Now I need to take the plastic off. Oh, I'm having some trouble with that. Okay, there we go. Now, each box contains 36 packs inside of it. And usually you can expect to get anywhere between six and seven ultra, ultra air pulls. Uh, so we'll see how many I get. So we'll start with this half. I'm not going to mix them up because if you mix them up, the pattern is going to be mixed up too. So I'm going to put the bo booster box over there, packs over here, and I'm going to calibrate my scale before I start opening them up. So I'm not going to read out the, um, the weights of all the packs, but yeah, my scale is calibrated. And I'm going to start with this Decidueye pack. Weighs 21.93 grams. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to do the uh, card trick. It usually takes me a while to open up these packs, so I might just not do that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to spoil myself, so you can't open up this pack. There we go. So, let's see what we get. Skarmory, Caterpie, Sandy Gast, Roggenrola, Cosmog. Our reverse is Bruxish, and it's a reverse rare, which is nice. And nice, off to a great start. A Gumshoes GX. Let's see how much this card weighs. Weighs 1.90 grams. And yeah, the rest of the pa uh, cards in the pack don't actually matter. I'm gonna sleeve this Gumshoes GX up. So we actually figure out the pattern. It's the first uh, card, uh, first pack for rather, and then these two packs have nothing. So I'm gonna, you know, ignore them and sell them on eBay. No, I'm just kidding. But that's what people can do. So I'm gonna open up the, the next two packs. And yeah, I'm just gonna get right to it. This pack is a little bit heavier. So. We'll see what we get. Green style code card, and forgot to show you the uh, code card of the previous pack, it's white style. So that means that in this pack, there's nothing good. We get a Decidueye, which is pretty nice, and we get a Butterfree. Okay, so the next pack is also a crappy pack, and it's gonna weigh 22 grams. So let's see what's inside of it. So we have uh, Chin Chow, let's get right to it. I need good reverse. No, reverse Cosmog. And we get Golduck, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's see what this pack here has. It weighs 21.95 grams. So, we know what we're getting in this pack. We're gonna get an Ultra Rare. So, let's see if my theory is right. Yep, white style code card. Okay, so let's do a mini card trick. So four from the back to the front, Fire Energy, Team Skull Grunt, Poison Barb, Charge Bug, Paris, Firo, Litten, Young Goose, Surskit, Reverse Gigalith, nice, Reverse Rare, and we have a Sharpedo Hollow card. So there's also a sub pattern, it goes um, GX or an Ultra Rare to a Hollow Rare. So the next one, uh, that we're, next pack, that we're gonna get after uh, after the next two, which have nothing in them, is gonna be a GX or Secret Rare or anything like that. So I'm also gonna sleeve up this Sharpedo. Next pack, 
There's the weight. Let's see what's inside of it. Nothing good. We're only hunting for reverses in this case. We get shelter. Okay, Spinda. And the lanterns to non hollow rare. Okay, next pack. That's the weight right there. And I don't know if there's any pattern with the weights. Oh, it's really hard to tell. There's so much variability. But let's see what's inside of this. Okay, we got Herdier Reverse. It's actually a little bit darker than the other cards. And Green Style Code card. Okay, so I'm going to do the card trick with this next pack because according to the mapping pattern, this pack will give us a GX or an Ultra Rare. It could be a trainer. Hopefully it's the Ultra Ball. So let's see. Yep, White Style Code card. We have that there. And let's do, oh, oh damn, I spoiled it. I'm not gonna do the card trick. Sir, sorry about that. Uh, Crabrawler, Reverse Metapod, and nice. A Lunala Hyper Rare. N very nice card right there. Look at the shine, a Hyper Rare. Hopefully we can still get an Ultra Baller Secret Rare, but I'll take this Hyper Rare. It's a very nice one. And I'm gonna look for a sleeve because I want to sleeve this card up. So that's how the mapping pattern works. Next two packs will have nothing good inside of them, but I'm still gonna open up, uh, open them up for you guys. So I see we got an Eevee. Let's get right to it. Reverse Lantern, which is nice. That's a reverse rare, and I think we got Bruxish. Next pack. 22 grams. I see a stuffle. Let's see what else. Pick a pack reverse and Primarina is our rare. Okay, I'm gonna do the card trick with this next pack because it's gonna give us, well, it's gonna give us a hollow most likely. 22 grams. So what kind of holo do you think we're going to get? We'll not do the card trick. We got a Masquerade and the holo is a Crobat holo. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to sleeve this holo up after I reveal the code card. It's a white style code card. So there you go. You can figure out the pattern that way. Going to have to grab a sleeve. So we got two hollows so far. So, next pack is going to give us a green code card and a non hollow rare card. So, let's see. Rare candy reverse and another Primarina. Next pack. That's the weight right there. Let's see what we get. Okay. We have Torkoal, Snubble, and a Hariyama, not Hollow Rare. So nothing good in that pack. Okay, we have an Incineroar pack. And this one's going to give us an Ultra Rare pull. So get excited for this one. I'm going to do the card trick correctly to build up hype. Okay. Green Style Code card. One, two, three, four. Okay, Lightning Energy, Golbat, Repel, uh, Pinsir, Snubble, Fero, Grubbin, Spiro, Alolan Grimer, Reverse Bond Suite, and nice, a Lurantis GX Full Art. So it's not the Hyper Rare because there's a green background, but this is a very nice card. It's very playable, so I'm really happy with this pull. So I'm gonna grab a sleeve and put Lorantis right over here. I'm gonna move the hollows because they're not that important. Okay, so next two packs will give us nothing good, but I'm still gonna show you guys what we get. So this uh, mapping pattern really takes the excitement out of opening up packs. You know, be before seeing whether or not you got a 
green or white style code card took the excitement out, but now that's mappable. Um, you can actually predict everything quite well. We got Apollo Sand and a reverse Alolan Raticate. Nothing good there as predicted. This next pack is garbage too. 22.08 grams. And yeah, I'm not gonna, you know, buy a bunch of booster boxes and, you know, figure out the mapping pattern and sell the rest of the um, cards or packs because that's really scummy. People say pack weighing scummy. I think doing that's even scummier. Okay, so this next pack I think gives is gonna give us a hollow rare. Kind of lost uh, track. We'll see what type of code card we get. White, yep. So it's gonna give us a hollow rare because uh, that's the kind of the sub pattern goes ultra rare, hollow rare, or hollow rare, ultra rare. It just alternates like that. And we got a Vicavolt. Very nice. My first Vicavolt holo rare. Okay. And I'm going to put him aside here and sleeve Vicavolt up. I'm sleeving holo rares too. So on this side of the box, I got three hollows and three ultra rares. So. Next pack, Toxapex Reverse Rare, which is nice. And we have our third Alolan Starter, Incineroar. So last pack from the left side is a pack that weighs 20, how much, 20? 20, 22 grams, pretty much. Okay, so we'll see what we get inside of it. Nothing good, oh, did I give away the code card? Okay, here's a code card for you guys. If you guys want a chance to win a, a more code cards, you can enter my giveaway that I'm doing. Let's see what this card is. So we got Parasect Reverse Liden. So more about the giveaway. Uh, throughout the month of February, every video I post gives you a chance to win. Um, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel, like all the videos I post in the month of February, and comment with your like number to enter. So I'm gonna put this uh, booster box over there. And we have 18 more packs over here. So this first pack should give us a GX or a Hall Rare. I'm not really sure, but it's gonna give us a good card. So let's see what we get. So, so oh, okay, it's a different pattern on the uh, right side. Okay, so that's interesting. So it's a different pattern. Let's see what we get. We got a Reverse Makuhita and a Stoutland. So the pattern is different. Okay, 21.94 grams. So this is a light pack, which makes me think we might get an Ultra Rare or Holo Rare inside of this. Yep, white style, oh, white style code card and we saw some shine. So let's get right to it. Reverse Pokeball and Lorantis GX. So we got the full art Lorantis GX and now we got the regular Lorantis GX. Very nice pull. And I'm gonna sleeve the Lorantis up. I'm running out of sleeves and you grab a couple more. Here we go. So I'm gonna put gumshoes up there and Lorantis up here. I got all of these pa uh, cards on the left side of the box and Hopefully I get at least two more, hopefully three more Ultra Rares. So this next pack shouldn't give us anything great. We'll see if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm gonna be wrong. So we got Cosmion and Reverse Wishy Washy. So yeah, it's all predictable. Next pack weighs in at 22.10 grams. So we have nothing. Reverse Rowlet and a Decidueye. Okay, an evolutionary line, which is nice. Okay, next pack weighs in at 21.94 grams. Okay, this should, oh, it's a white style code card, but it should give us a hollow. Yep, a Lolan Muck. So that's kind of why I didn't do the card trick. I also kind of forgot. So I'm gonna sleeve this little in muck up and we got a reverse gold bat, which isn't a rare. 
Okay, so I'm gonna sleeve a roll in muck up. And yeah, so so far I've got four hollows. Hopefully I only get two more, because if I get two more, that means I get one extra ultra rare. So this one weighs 22.10. Corsola reverse and a cloister rare. Nothing in there. This pack weighs in at 22.04 grams. Oh, take away the code card. Probably shouldn't. More lol and two cannon. I just want enough code cards because there's also some grand prizes. I forgot to mention the prizes in my giveaway. So. There are four top prizes. You can win a scale with 18 um, uh, Sun Moon code cards. And then second place is 10 Sun Moon code cards. Third place is 10 Evolutions code cards. And fourth place is 10 random code cards for the TCG game. And every video I post in the month of February, one person will win at least one code card. So this next pack, I showed you guys the way 22 grams and it's not gonna have anything in it, at least I don't think. Oh, no, it, it will have something good. Okay, so let's let's just not do the card trick. Snubble, Lul and Radicta, Sandal, Pikipek, Spiro, Reverse, Roggenrola, and Ataros GX. I already have plenty of Tauroses. I kind of want the uh, Decidui GX. I haven't pulled that one yet. So next two packs won't have anything in them. I just did that so I will remember when we get the good one so I can be careful when opening it, uh, the pack up and not mess up the cards so I don't spoil it for you guys. So we have nothing Young Goose and Beware. Green style code card. And this next pack weighs in at 22 grams. So we get a little Persian masquerade. Nothing good. I'm gonna try speeding up the video because I see that I'm gonna run out of memory. This one is gonna have an ultra rare most likely. Okay, white style code card, good. So a little Meowth, no card trick, Growlithe, Roggenrola, Cosmog, Litten. Reverse Pincer and Gigalith. Oh, I thought I would get something better. Can, oh, no, no. I was supposed to get a rare. I got Tauros before. I thought I got a little in muck. Okay, so that is right. Okay, so next two packs. This one's not going to give us anything good. So we got Hypno Reverse and Crabominable. Okay. So next pack, 22.11 grams. And nothing good from inside of it either. Professor Kupu, you reverse, which is nice, and a gold duck. So next pack is the pack that gives us an ultra rare. It weighs in at 21.90 grams. Let's see what we get. We got white style code card. I see some shine. Drowsy, Crabrawler, Sandow, Lolan Meowth, Pikipek, Reverse Ilma, and a Lunala GX. So I got a Lunala Hyper Rare and a Lunala GX regular card. So I'm gonna grab a sleeve and I'm actually gonna open up the next pull in one second. Okay, let's continue with the last four packs. So the next two shouldn't give me anything good. 21.9 something. It should be a green style code card, yep. And let's see what's inside. Surskit and a Butterfree. So this next pack weighs 22.04 grams. 
also will give me nothing. Ugh. There we go. Green and shelter and a lantern. So this final pack, oh, there's two more. Oh, I kind of made a mistake there. This final pack, not final, second to final pack, will give us either a hollow rare, which I'm hoping it won't, or an ultra rare. So white style code card. Let's see what we get. Surskit, Growlithe, Crabrawler, Marini, Roggenrola, Incineroar Reverse, and Shenotic. So that kind of sucks. Well, maybe we'll get something good here. Maybe I'll be wrong. So I'll sleeve Shenotic up. But yeah, that means I'm only going to get six Ultra Rares and six Hollow Rares, which is the average. But I was hoping I would get seven. Let's move this into frame. So this weighs 22.15 grams. Let's see what's inside of this pack. Ah, yeah, nothing. Primarina Reverse and an Incineroar. So at least we got that. Okay, so I'm gonna recap the pulls. Inside this booster box, I got six Hollow Rares. This, sh this uh, Shenotic, Gigalith, Alolan Muck, Vikavolt, Crobat, and Sharpedo. And I also got total of six Ultra Rares, this Gumshoes GX, Lunala GX, Tauros GX, Lurantis GX, this Lurantis GX Full Art, and this unbelievable Lunala GX Rainbow Rare, or Hyper Rare, whichever you prefer. So I got some pretty great cards in this opening. And again, if you guys want to enter my giveaway I'm doing this month, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment with your like number to enter. Thanks for watching this opening, guys. Collect your cousin out.